Bo, 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 Jack Horseman. Uh, it's one of the kind of craziest uh, cartoons out there. I mean, as far as, I mean, you got kids cartoons. Then you got like South Park, like adult, like humor type cartoons. And then you get Bo Jack Horseman, which is like this crazy mix of animals and people uh, exploration of Hollywood and what it is to be famous and the roller coaster that a career in Hollywood can be, uh, you know, being headlined the, the show itself with Will Arnett, probably one of his, by far one of his best, uh, roles, I would say, uh, as he plays Bojack, the horse. Um, and it's a show that, you know, it's been out for, I think, season six just came out, half of season six. The next half is coming out at the end of January of next year. Uh, so you get eight episodes. And I guess it's the last season, I believe. Um, so I watched a couple, the first couple seasons while I was out in Denver and uh, love the show, right? They, they take swings on this show. Like, there's an episode that takes place entirely underwater where I think there's only one word spoken, and it's spoken at the, like, the very end of the the episode. They like, do crazy things like that all the time. There's an episode, I'm not sure if it's this season or one of the, the more current seasons, where he's playing uh, a character in a show. He got a role as like a detective or something like that with him and Mr. Peanut Butter, uh, who's a golden retriever, played by uh, Paul F. Tompkins. And the the show like kind of bleeds his reality and the show together because he's getting back into drugs and like pills um but it, it it's like it, it brings like all the it, it's it communicates all the harsh realities of just addiction self-destruction fame um just all kinds of shit but then communicates it through like a super interesting, not only a super interesting animation style where it looks like everything's watercolored, but uh, or at least the textures and the backgrounds and things like that all look watercolored. But uh, also the fact that everybody there's the mix of humans and animals adds like this other layer that helps to express and explain situations in an even better way. Like instead of just having people. Uh, dealing with stuff it's like you know the cat is the 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 manager or whatever and the he's a horse and like uh I, it's just it's just a wacky a wacky kind of premise like i can't imagine what the pitch for this show was um but i took a few years off uh you know it's it's it is kind of a bummer show it's amazing but it is kind of a bummer show so i took uh, a few years off and and just recently caught up and rewatched all of the the seasons that uh, I had missed and it, it's crazy how like just watching not only his career but then everybody else in this this show has like crazy arcs and crazy stories that that go along and change throughout the thing and they jump through different time spans and it just it's just a really fun Really fun way to look at really dark subject matter. Not really dark, but depressing. Just it's a bummer. It's a bummer to like it's it's kind of comforting for me who's who's like struggling to make any kind of a name for myself. Um and just seeing the ups and downs of like people giving a shit and then everybody just disappearing. Like having a big audience where like people love your shit and then all of a sudden uh they don't even exist anymore like i don't i don't none of those supporters there's like two there's like two left out of the thousands that used to be around uh so like there's there's moments of the show that kind of i relate to i don't necessarily have the uh addiction problems that he has uh but i also don't have the money that he has uh so maybe i would and the self destruction parts i can definitely relate to at times um but it's just great, great casting, great, great acting. All the characters are super interesting. They kind of focus on different, uh, different characters at a time. Like in this one, it, it focuses on uh, 
Diane and uh, her kind of new career with the bison. And uh, just, I don't know. It's it's a really, <laughs> a really fun season. And not, f- I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to talk about this. How do I talk about BoJack Horseman? It's like so many things like the the arc like he he's in these these like he's in a movie but then they replace him for like a a cg version of him but then he wins an award so like during the the award uh to to pump that up he like it's just like it's it's woven all these storylines and things are woven so well and the things that happen to him and the ups and downs are are done so well that uh uh it's just super super interesting super fun Super fun. I don't know why I keep saying it's super fun because it's kind of a bummer. But um, and Paul F. Tompkins is Miss Peanut Butter Pickles, new character, which is Peanut Butter's new girlfriend. Uh, where he's like they explore his addiction to going out with younger women, and then they end up growing, basically growing up, and then dumping him and ruining him. And it's this like cycle that Mr. Peanut Butter is in. Uh, but I got to tell you, being a, an owner of a, uh, a chug, a chihuahua pug mix, uh, seeing Miss Pickles, I think it's Miss Pickles. I don't know if it's Miss Pickles or just Pickles, but just adorable. And she plays like a, you know, 20 year old Instagram kind of wants to be a Instagram kind of influencer or whatever. Um, but super, super fun to see like that character added where it's, you know, for me anyway, because I have just like if, if I had a horse, you know, the show would be based on my horse. I don't know. Mr. Ed, I don't I don't know what else to say. Watch this show. It's probably it's like it's it's one of the best shows on TV in so many ways, but like undercover like i don't know i don't like i don't really hear people talking about it obviously listening to the slash film cast uh dave uh, dave chen actually uh talked about the newest season uh in much more beautiful language than i'm able to uh spew out of my mouth hole but uh that is what got me to go back and rewatch the show just because the show is so good it's just crazy how good the show is for being like an animated, th- like, I don't know how you could explain this show to somebody that just doesn't understand. Like, some people are people, some people are animals, but it's animated, but super real in a lot of ways. It's just, I don't know. I really enjoy it. It's kind of almost the, uh, if you were to take, uh, Entourage and then dip it in reality and then cover it in, uh, gloss of uh animals and and animation right that's how you make bojack horseman anyway uh so season six eight episodes out on netflix the last eight episodes are coming out the end of uh the beginning of next year so i'm looking forward to that Uh, great great will and will arnett i love there's another show flaked i think that he did which i really enjoyed on netflix also but i don't think i think that went two seasons and it ended um but and it was a similar kind of similar he was like an alcoholic living in uh LA but it was live action um but it was a fun show Aaron Paul obviously probably the best thing that he's done since Breaking Bad I know he's been in a few movies uh aside from the El Camino movie but great Paul F Tompkins Paul F Tompkins voice lends itself S- same thing with Will Arnett lends themselves so well to these characters like Paul F. Tompkins playing a, a golden retriever. It's just, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Go watch the show. Um, and I'm sorry for, for my, my poor use of the English language. Uh, new episodes of the Ray Taylor show do come out every day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my artwork over at inspireddisorder.com and save 25% when you use coupon code RT. S. Follow me on social media at Ray Taylor. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out.